the fifth and the tenth terms of an arithmetic progression are 18 and negative 2 respectively. Find the common difference and the first term for max. So the fifth term of the arithmetic. So this is the AP. AP we know is the one that goes A. The first term is A, A plus D, A plus 2D like that. So the 50 is going to be A plus 4D. That is the fifth term. And the tenth will be A plus 9D. Fine. Like in number what the fifth term this is. So this one is equal to 18 and this one is equal to negative 2. So we are going now to solve. This is our equation 1. Equation 2. So we are going to solve this using simultaneous. Simulti uh, so this, these are now simultaneous equation. We can solve them using elimination, substitution, whichever you want. So let us just use elimination. A minus A is 0. 4D minus 9D, that is minus D. We are going to have 5D minus 18 minus minus 2. The answer is 20. So we divide by negative 5. Divide by negative 5. So D is equal to negative 4. Our next one, we want to get now the value of A. We can substitute either any of them, this one or that. So A plus 4 D equal to 18. So A plus 4 into negative 4, the answer is 18. A minus 16 equal to 18 yes so this one goes that way so a is equal to 18 plus 16 so a is equal to 30 34 well i hope una elewa vizuri mambo ya ap na arithmetic arithmetic progression na geometric progression una elewa vizuri lakini kama uja elewa vizuri nimetengeneza video ya uh, series and progression you can check it on the on the link on the description so you will find ap there determine the least number of terms which must be added together to the sum so that the sum of the progression is negative hence find the sum so we know that the sum n is equal to n over 2 into 2a plus into n minus 1 times d yeah we know that so we want the sum that will give us negative number right so n we don't know the number of terms we are looking for the number of terms that will give us the negative number over 2 into 2 times a but we know a is 34 plus into n minus 1 times d which is negative 4 the answer is zero. We want a number which is negative. That means that n over 2 into this is 68. Uh, this. So let us open this one. So plus this times is going to be negative 4n plus 4 equal to zero. So n over 2 into 68 minus so this one we're going to add plus 4 minus 4 n equal to 0 n over 2 into 72 minus 4 n equal to 0 so let us remove the i want to remove this n down here i will multiply by the reciprocal of this so Okay, let me open the, this one. N times 72, we are going to have 72 N over 2 minus 4 N square, N times 4 N, that is N square divided by 2, equal to 0. So this is actually 1, here is 36. 
uh, this one here one here two so that is six n minus two n square is equal to zero uh, the common factor here is two you can see very well so two n into this one will be 18 minus n is equal to zero so this tells us that uh, 2n is equal to 0 or 18 minus n is equal to 0. So 18 is equal to um, um, okay, 18 is equal to n. So n equal to 18. So determine the equation was determined the, the least number of terms that must give must be added together so that the sum of the is so 18 is the term is the, is the value of n so the least number uh, of the terms will be 18 plus 1 which is equal to 19 Do you know the reason why we are adding 1? Remember, n, n minus 1, the least number is 18. So, so n minus 1, we are want to get 18. So that's why 19 minus 1 will give us 18. Hence, so, find the sum. So, the sum will be, so sum, sum 19 is equal to 19 over 2 into 2 times 34 plus into n, n and our n is 19 minus 1, which is now 18, times negative d, which is, our d was negative 4. And that is 19 over 2 into, this times 68 plus 19 minus 1, 18, 18 times negative 4, negative 72. So 19 over 2 times, or bracket, uh, this was uh, 68 minus 72 is negative 4. So 19 over 2 times negative 4, here 1, here negative 2, so the answer is negative 38. So you have seen that uh, the least 19 is giving us the negative number. It was tricky, but... You can see how it was supposed to be done.